guys, my name is Tyler Thompson, a full-time content creator, and I absolutely love building four-wheel drives and then using them to travel this incredible country we live in, Australia. Today I'm going to be running you through some of the modifications we've made to my vehicle. Check out the link to eBay below and you'll find loads of these parts and accessories, especially those ones that are getting it ready for this coming summer. Let's jump into it. Starting down the front here we have a winch compatible steel bull bar. This provides us with a heap of protection. Over in the middle there we have a worn 8274 high mount winch, 40 meters of synthetic rope on it and the high mount winches can just run for a long time without getting too hot and have really good pulling power to get us out of predicaments that we may get ourselves into. 20 inch light bar there in the middle and a 40 inch one up on the roof there as well, the Ultimate 9 ones provide good vision if we get caught out of a night and they do some extra driving for the day. 6.6 .6 dBi antenna runs through a UHF in the car so we can communicate with our mates when they're out of the tracks. And actually in behind the bull bar there, headlights, those ones are from eBay. I do love to get out and push the limits. My plan is to conquer as many tough tracks as we can all across Australia. So because of that reason, the bar work from the bull bar runs all the way down the side of the car. So that way, anything this car hits when they're in ruts, off camber sections on the tracks, I know pretty good chance I'm gonna be safe and not damage the car because it's just gonna hit the bar work. On the side here, we have a stainless snorkel and what that does is it raises the intake or the breathing point of your engine, which is absolutely critical if you are doing deeper water crossings that might be coming up over your bonnet. Because if your engine sucks in water, well, it's gonna be game over. So we got the front runner full platform up there, provides us a heap of storage space. I've got my four treads up on the front, and then I'll chuck swags, kayak, jerry can, whatever I can up there. Taking a look inside the cab here from the driver's seat, here's our XRS GME connected to our antenna up there. Got our twin locker buttons down here. Up here we have our red arc gauges, which monitor boost, EGTs, water temps, and oil pressure. And well, hey, talking boost, turbos why don't we take a look inside the engine bay there is quite a lot going on in here and i can tell you now it's a fair way from factory and what this car originally had you can see here the snorkel coming in that we mentioned earlier so this comes into a custom airbox as well which has got a big truck filter in it to help keep the dust out of the motor the motor is actually a td42 factory turbo crate motor so this is a brand new motor i bought for this car and it's got a full HPD high performance diesel turbo upgrade. We've got a top mount intercooler, Garrett turbo. So the turbo really opens these engines up, lets them breathe, gives it a heap more power, just getting destinations and when you're out on the tracks. Before we finish up though, given we're talking getting our rigs ready for summer, I thought I'd share with you guys my two top destinations for this summer. First one, a beach destination, Morden Island. It's about a 90 minute ferry ride off the coast of Brisbane. And once you land there, well, you're just gonna think you've traveled to a whole nother side of the world. Incredible tropical paradise. Camping, wildlife, scenery, it's got it all. Number two, a bush destination, and that's where we're actually heading in about six weeks time the Victorian high country. If you love bush and the big open wilderness, this place has it. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the link to eBay below and you'll find loads of these accessories and more.